Today, we become legends. Hey, my name's Inter, welcome back to the channel, and today we're doing a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while, but I wasn't fully sure how to do it. We're going to be playing every single current high-res game that exists in one video. And these are the high-res games that are still active and have servers and exist in 2023 when I'm recording this. Uh, we're not going to be including stuff like Tribes Ascend and Global Agenda and stuff like that. Any, any games that were shut down, we're not going to be able to play, you know, Hand of the Gods, Smite Tactics, uh, Prophecy. All that kind of stuff we won't be able to play that so we basically have five games that we're playing today that's kind of high res's current catalog basically of games that are still alive we've got smite of course my main game uh, if anyone's watching this video that maybe plays a different high res game as their main game if you're like a paladins player or whatever uh this should be pretty interesting for you but yeah smite is my main game i'm a smite youtuber but i decided to check out all the other games so we're going to be starting with smite today um and then there's also Paladins, Rogue Company, Realm Royale Reforged, and DKO. And so yeah, we're just going to be playing a game or two, uh, depending on the match length, because obviously a DKO game is way shorter than like a Smite game. So we'll see. We'll play a, a match or two of uh, all of these games, and uh, I'll score them. Because to be honest, I've not really played many of them except Smite. All right, and here we are with high-res game number one. Uh, we're going to be playing Smite as the first game, of course. Uh, Smite is the main game I play on my channel. Uh, if you're someone that is a different kind of high-res gamer, if you like play a lot of Paladins or you play a lot of Rogue Company or whatever, uh, you might not know that, but I imagine probably the majority of people watching right now uh, watch my channel for Smite and kind of know, know that. But yeah, we're going to be starting with Smite, my uh, most experienced game. Uh, of these of course and we're gonna be moving on later in the video and to games that I've uh, barely played or like only played a little bit uh, Occasionally haven't even played at all uh, Rogue Company is one I haven't played at all so Should be pretty interesting, but hopefully we can get a smite W to start the video off because I feel like we're not gonna get a whole lot of W's on on uh, the other games I'm probably gonna be very bad at them. It is what it is. We're gonna have to learn against this Wukong uh, Probably gonna lose a good portion of the early learning phase. He just has such good clear such good poke so safe uh, Really just, he's a perfect character in the, in the current meta. He just does everything you need. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. So yeah, we're just going to have to sit on the towel for a little bit here, I think. Uh, we do have TP at least though. I didn't go blink here because like against Wukong, I feel like I'm going to need the TP. So we're just going to uh, chill for the moment. I mean, ideally I'd like to be able to farm full Zolita, which I think is 1500. Where did this Wukong go? He didn't back, did he? No, he didn't. He, he's right here with his ult. Okay, I'm probably dead. Psych! We can juke his ult though. Okay, if we actually just get this, that should be enough. Full soul eater. Now we just need to play passive for a little bit longer <laughs> until we can get it stacked up and then we should be okay. Especially because we'll have it stacked up and then also get some defense, maybe cloud shield. Wait, I'm up in gold? How is that possible? It feels like he's been getting all the pressure, but to be honest, he's not been getting a lot of the neutral fam. He's just been pressuring me on the tower line, so. We're on 60 soul eater stacks as well. I'm actually ahead in XP. This is actually going really well. I, I thought I would lose way more farm in those like first five minutes than I actually did. So we're doing fine right now. With an assassin with a built-in pen and soul eater rush, you actually have a lot more potential of like PVEing because you have a lot of free power and free pen. So yeah, I think Wukong's gonna be proxying most of this game to be honest. Uh, I'm not really willing to fight him because I probably lose the fight and so I can get a, a bit more items online. Maybe once I finish my glad shield, I can fight him. But Wukong can proxy for free uh, with the bird and, and the ult. So yeah, he also went transcendence. Maybe I should have been paying more attention to his build, dude, because when he goes Transcendent solely or like that, obviously, if he's proxying at my Phoenix, I should be trying to kill him. Uh, if we just get, like, one rotation on him, he probably dies. Oh, I forgot we have an E-Shell ADC. Oh, we can maybe gank here, though. Oh, yeah, let's gank. Yeah, this is just a dead nemesis. Okay, she did end up getting the return kill. All right, so Pulse over in left. Looks like a fight maybe going down over there. I think I can quickly go and grab this next wave as it comes out of the tier two, and then we, we maybe rotate here. We can, at the very least, try and, like, force this. If you want the fucking oh, ball, like, come on, dude. I'll come out of the house, and I'll break your fucking legs. Yeah, it's good damage on the, uh... The nam. Nice. Good shit. Looks like Horus is trying to ult over to Fire Giant. I can CP to this ward, though. Uh, I don't know what I want as my next item, so I'll just chill for now. We'll go get uh, Fire. Oh, do we not want to do Fire? I thought it was the whole reason he ulted. <laughs> okay, we are going to do it. Tear map back, though. I don't know if we have the damage for it now. Nice. Free Fire up. Uh, they're really shoving it down my lane. 
Oh, dude. Are we all after this? Oh, dude. That's unfortunate. She's so slippery. Okay, nice. Another knockup. Yeah, nice. Tango down. Okay, I'm pretty fed right now, though, to be honest. I have, like, some real strong items. We just got a binding as well, which is going to up my damage quite a lot. Is she staying following me? I'll, I'll, I'll trust her. I'll trust her. Surprise, motherfucker. I was correct to trust her. Uh, that was a free kill on the Hever. Also get some damage on this guy. I don't mean kill him, but we can get some damage. Never mind, he shells chunking, man. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna back here. I'll get the red. Okay, team are kind of trolling a little bit. They're like behind the duo tier two. Uh, we can maybe rotate over and try and help them. I have ult in 10. Get over here and knock this guy up. Yeah, that's the problem with going full damage Wukong, man. You do kind of just get blown up if you can't ult all three out of the situation. So, I would really like 1500 gold to get my full sigil online. Sigil's upgrades are like some of the best in the game. And yeah, I think we go infuse sigil. Big burst damage after I take a certain amount of damage. Uh, fits better with this kind of a build, I feel. I, I am fairly damage heavy. I do have the Soul Eater. I am playing an Assassin, so. We're just pushing mid Phoenix straight up with uh, gold, pyro, and fire up. It's risky. We should just be doing the neutral objectives, I feel, instead of fighting them right next to the fountain. Can we kill this guy? I can kill him. Fuck it, let's do it. Okay, maybe I died for it though. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, maybe not. I got the healing from Horus and from my lifesteal. Very nice. Okay, Horus is trying to fight here. Fuck, here we go. Oh, we got, oh, Horus ulted in. Okay, never mind. Are we just trying to end this game without doing a single fire giant? I think we are. Get in here and uh, knock up. Kill that guy. Can we just do Titan? Like, we're not doing a single fire giant in this game, man. This is, this is a bit silly. Okay, Chelsea and Pyro. Let's go help her with that. And then, honestly, we can probably just deal with this Titan push, send our Titan down the lane, and then they won't be a contest fire. I mean, they can't contest fire anyway, realistically. Like, we're so far ahead at this point. But, yeah, I, I highly doubt they can uh, contest this. We have a lot of healing as well. Like, I have built-in Lifesteal, Horus healing, uh, Shell healing. So, if they haven't built anti-heal, I don't know what they're doing. Nice, good fire. Alright, I could try and blink in here. Okay, Maui's going in. Knock up the Nam. Some good damage on it. Oh god. Chase that down. Nah, dude. Okay, we're still getting big damage though. Okay, I do die. I do die, but I feel like I did a lot of work there. We almost killed Nam, and then also like really heavy bug to our mission. She got cleaned up, so. That's fine. One for two there. We get to continue the push. First death of the game. This has been uh, quite a decent game to start off the video. Uh, looks like TMAP maybe cleans that up. Yeah. GG. I mean, Nem's still alive, but... Like, our Titan is currently tanking their Titan, so I'm, I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> just, I think they're just farming kills at this point. Like, I think we could have ended this game a while ago. Yeah, they're just farming kills. We can TP in, though. No. Oh, we didn't quite get there. <laughs> GG though, uh, one death. We had 4k gold at the end there. Uh, good good start to the video. We got a fat W. Uh, now let's move on to some other high res games where I'm probably going to get many fat L's because uh, I don't really play many other high res games. I uh, only played them a tiny bit. Uh, I think we're going to move on to Paladins now. I think Paladins is going to be the second game I play for the video. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Paladins. <laughs> All right, and here we are in Paladins. So uh, I do have an account for Paladins. Uh, I'm account level 21. I'm called Aisha Balanke. Uh, I made this account a long time ago when I was like, uh, I think 
I made this account like when the game initially came out and I was a big smite player at the time, so I named myself Azure Belanke because it's another uh, high risk game. <laughs> a pretty cringe name, I'm well aware, but we have played this game a little bit in the past. I did play a little bit of it back in like, you know, when it was releasing around the same time as like Overwatch. Um, but I absolutely cannot play this game and anything I knew about this game, I will have immediately forgotten. Uh, I can't even remember who I, who I played as like my main back in the day. Um, let's have a quick look at the champions. There's going to be way more than when I played, obviously. Uh, I remember Sky. Uh, maybe Ceres as well. I mean, we can have a look at mastery levels. So I've got, like, Tyra and Leon to, like... Oh, Leon's the one with the rifle. Yeah, okay. Also, nice high-res textures, dude. That's absolutely great. So, yeah, I think we'll try and go Leon. Okay, so there's a few different game modes. Uh, Onslaught, slay your enemies and control the objective. Capture the objective and push the payload like Overwatch. Um, and push the payload farther than the other team to win the game. Okay. Um... I mean, I guess we'll just queue all of them. Been a long time since I played Paladins, so I don't really know which game mode I would even like the most. So we'll just queue for all of them. We'll see what we get. Okay, so my abilities. Uh, yeah, just a rifle shot. Uh, fire a charge shot dealing damage. Maybe it's the charge shot that uh, is the one shot headshot that I was thinking of. Uh, charge your rifle and fire a long range. Oh, maybe it's this one. Okay, it seems like she's mainly just like shots and then charged up shots that do more and then other charged up shots that do different things she's basically just a rifler is, is my understanding of this character grace now hits all enemies in front of me instead of only one increases damage depressions based on range attack the objective okay i think we'll go for the increased range one uh load out precision Prepare maybe for battle oh my god okay right i have no idea what's going on right now uh we're on a horse you know what the game doesn't look too bad though the game's looking all right like texture quality wise five four um, Three, two. Okay, yeah, now we go into like normal mode. So we have like a shot, a charge shot, I think. Stop the payload. Okay, there's enemies up there. Oh, we got a little dome there. Uh, I'm very much not a first person shooter player, by the way. Uh, I'm very bad at first person shooters. Which is probably why I play Smite. That guy's trying to hide from me. We can't be having that. Oh, this guy? Okay. We gotta kill. Oh god, I'm being like Freya banished. Oh my lord. Oh, That's a lot I'm, of getting, damage. I'm getting chunked here. We can ride away though. A powerful shot, I think. Finish this. Okay, yeah, so the F is a dash. That's good to know. Can I dash in here? Nah, no, probably not. There's a tank there. Oh! I probably shouldn't be targeting that tank, I feel like. Oh my god, I got shredded. Inhuman reactions! That's a teammate. <laughs> oh Jesus, man. The burst is insane in this game. It feels like every time I'm like near anyone, I'm just like at risk of instantly dying. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, Paladins actually did eclipse Smite as a uh, high-res most popular IP for a time. It's not anymore. It's way less popular than Smite now. Oh my god. They're just outside our spawn, dude. There's just like so many places they can be. Okay. Okay. We might play another one of Paladins, because one, that was quite a short game in comparison to Smite, and also, I really had no grasp of what I was even doing uh, in that game. Now I have a little bit better grasp of um, how my character works. Uh, but this looks like a capture point one instead of payload push, so it will be a little bit of a different experience here. Okay, we have got here first. Oh, hello. Okay. Dude, this game's so bursty. You have to stand still for about a second and you die, but we did get the trade kill on that guy. I want to, like, chase that guy, man. Can I, like, horse up? Or just dash in? Nice! Okay. Get fucked. That was my first, like, actual skillful kill, I think. Okay, we're, get we're getting some points. I assume it falls off the damage based on range. Like, do you, like, punch it? Oh, God. Oh, no. I went, I, went, I went too far in. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that's an assassin by the looks of it. Yeah, I feel like if an assassin gets on a character like I've got with this, like, a rage sniping, I'm definitely going to lose that one. one. But we got the push. Deaths. They were chasing me down, and uh, they didn't get the people off of the payload, so that's good. What? Oh, dude, items. Okay, we've not been buying items. I've been completely forgetting that items exist in this game. Uh, so we've probably been a little bit weaker because we're not buying items. I'm going to go in on this guy. It seems like he's kind of isolated. Nice! Easy kill, dude. Oh, there's another guy, though. You just wear it on your sleeve. Oh, maybe you do. I just healed to full. Like, I don't think we have a healer, so... Maybe you passively heal out of combat. Nice. Okay, we're popping off here, boys. This is going substantially better than the previous game. Dash in. 
Nice. I should have gotten what the ult does. Oh, just big fucking damage. Okay. So we're just going to hit someone with, with this. I see you up there, Mr. Sniper guy. I see you. What if we flanked him? This is probably trolling, but what if we flanked him? Can we, like, jump up here? We can't just sit here, though, and, like, try and snipe some people. Oh, my God. Okay. I feel like I just kind of hard counted him, though. Oh, nice. Victory. GG. Wow. Okay. That was a lot more fun. Uh, not only because we won, but I also had a better understanding of how that game mode works compared to the other one. Nice. GG's, dude. GG's. We kind of hard countered that guy at the end there. It seems like he flies up in the air and does something similar to Farah from Overwatch. Uh, but he's stationary, so we got a free hit on, on our big damage ult at like 1.4k there. Okay. That was good. That was good. We got, we got a W. Uh, we went 4, 2, and 6. Didn't really do much. Kind of got hard carried, but that's to be expected. Uh, I haven't played this game. I think the last time I played it was 2018. That's what it said on Steam when I first booted up this game for this video. So I think we did not too bad. Uh, but yeah, that is Paladins. Um, let's move on. Should we do Rogue Company next? Yeah, let's do some Rogue Company. All right, here we are on Royal Company. Uh, I just did the tutorial and played a couple of games, and it turns out I wasn't recording. So <laughs> we're going to play another game now uh, to get an actual uh, gameplay for the for the video. Um, the first couple of games I played, initial impressions were basically... It is very casual. It seems like a much more casual variant of um, CSGO and Valorant, this game. Uh, you can spray like nobody's business, and you're still really accurate. Um, and I feel like my first few games were against bots. I'm not sure if this game we're going to get is also going to be against bots, but they kind of just like ran out of spawn, stared at me as I mowed them down, and then and then came back when they respawned. Uh, that, that kind of what the first few games felt like. Uh, I would have much preferred if it put me against actual humans and I could get like a genuine tactical experience of what Rogue Company feels like, uh, you know, actually playing the game rather than just mowing down bots. But we'll see how this game goes. Uh, the tutorial was decent as well. The tutorial, I think, uh, explained everything fairly well. Well, yeah, if, if you've never played Rogue Company before, it's basically CSGO and Valorant. You have, like, operators, and it's generally quite tactical, like, round-based. There's different game modes and stuff. Uh, it's basically high-risk take on, on that kind of genre. All right, I think I'm going to go with Anvil. Uh, oh, wait, that guy's already picked Anvil. Okay, we'll go with the tutorial hero, then. This is the one you get in the tutorial. She has, like, a ballistic explosive knife and is passively immune to radar detection. So she's probably, like, more of, like, a flanker, I would say. Whereas the Anvil guy that I just played in the previous game, he's got, like, a barrier as his ability. So you can, like, set up, like, deployable cover. Okay, here we go. This is something I like about the game. This intro screen where everyone's, like, balling up and it's got jazzy music in the background. I, I like this. This is, like, a, a good part of the game, in my opinion, uh, that I noticed in my first couple of games I accidentally didn't record. Um, so, yeah, I, I like that. I do like that. And, yeah, you spawn in. It's, like, round-based and you get money, like, CSGO. So you get more money based on, like, stuff you did in the round. Um, I think we're going to just get this basic assault rifle. That's what I did last time. You can also get perks. So we'll get reload and weapon swap speed. Uh, but you can get like perks and armor and different guns and abilities and stuff like that. You buy them with currency that you earn during the round. Um, if you survive, you get to keep your stuff. If you die, you have to rebuy your stuff. Uh, it's basically like CSGO and Valorant in that way. But it is definitely a lot more casual, as you'll see in a second when I actually get to fight some people. You can very much spray in this game. Uh, but if we go under this cover, that guy peeks out there. Okay, that guy rolled. Maybe I'm in actual human games now. Uh, the bots literally never rolled. They just kind of stood there and, like, stared at me. Okay, we got one, though. They're on the point. I'm gonna roll. I believe I can fly. Yeah, the fact that you can just, like, jump around the corner and spray like that is definitely a way more casual game than, um, than, like, Valorant or CSGO. Uh, to be honest, I might still be against bots. These guys don't seem to know what's going on, but it could just be, like, general bad players. This is a completely fresh account. I know I've played this game before, so if there are some people that uh, are very new to shooters. They, they might not really know what's going on. At least I'm not new to shooters. I can, like, aim and kill people. I just don't really know how the game works in general. I can, like, aim and kill people. I can, like, aim and kill people. Are you sure about that? Yeah, there's passive out of combat health regeneration as well, unlike CSGO. Uh, I'm not sure if Valorant has that or not. I didn't play too much Valorant, but yeah, there is passive out of combat health regeneration. Man down. Well, I mean, we're getting the capture point, dude. I think it's fine if he dies, though. We've got plenty of lives. It's like a lives-based system. You have 16 lives. I so like essentially this. Ball this is cute. It's free real estate. Okay, we got both of those guys and took, like, no damage. Yeah, we might still be against bots. My, my first few games, they felt really bad because I was just against bots the whole time. So it, it never really felt like a true experience of, like, what Rogue Company should be, like, tactically. It was just, like, 
bots run out of spawn and, and I mow them down, basically. I think I had humans on my team, uh, but the enemy team was just full of bots, which is generally how it goes. Smite's, smite's the same, I think. Oh, God, we're out of ammo. Okay, yeah, we could be out of ammo, pick up another gun and still kill that guy. We're probably still against bots. It seems to be always how it is with high risk games. I don't know if it's like a lack of player count or whatever, but like your first few games are always against bots that have like no clue what's even going on. I don't think I died in my first games, uh, my first two games at all, so. Enemy spotted. I guess he's asking for a revive. Okay, I have no idea where this last guy is. Uh, I think he's just hiding from us, but we'll just cap the point. Eliminated. Okay, we go. Yeah, you could win either by capping the point or by completely eliminating the enemy team. Uh, generally, it was by eliminating the enemy team in my first two games because it, it's bots. So you just run run outside that spawn and just kill them as they run out. Uh, health regeneration is faster. Seems seems nice for me, to be honest. Um, and then, fuck it. We'll get a smoke grenade, dude. Why not? So what if I just, like, immediately smoke grenade at the point? Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm capturing. I'm capturing. I don't know where the enemy team are at right now. Oh, oh my god! Inhuman reactions! Oh, man's got a shield. Unfortunately, man's dead, but man did have a shield for about a second. Okay, you know what? Fuck the point, dude. I'm pretty sure we're against bots again. I'm just gonna run around and kill some people. That seems to generally be how the game goes when you're against bots. <laughs> They're also just not finishing me off, though. I assume bots are just programmed to not finish people off. Okay, first death. First death. In three games. <laughs> oh, they're actually on the point. Can I use the zip line? I can. Okay. I'm on the way, team. Don't you worry. Throw my explosive knife. Well, peek it. Yeah, I know you wanted to. Yeah, that's just obviously a bot, man. No one just runs in like that. Okay, they only have five lives left. I'll probably just clean them all up here by kills instead of capturing the point. Oh, hello. It's a guy on my left. Get on the ground! Get on the ground right now! Oh, I ran out of bullets. Okay, team finished him off, so I hope I can get a revive here. I'm just, like, running at people at this point. I'm pretty sure this is bot games. Oh no, my teammate got down. Oh, can we hit him from here? Oh, we can. Probably can't spray as much as here. But we still kind of can't spray, let's be real. And th this game really feels like a casual spray fest. Maybe at the higher level it's not, but it feels like, it's not like CSGO or Valorant where you have to like control recoil patterns or anything. It's, it's very much just you can spray if you want to in this game. Okay, they're already on the objective. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh my God. Okay, they were all there and they ran at me. <laughs> Well then, ah, my genius smoke grenade player, they'll never find me here. Oh, they found me. Ah, I'm out of bullets. Okay, I figured out how to roll though. I can like roll in and then dome this guy. Beautiful. Oh, they're all dying over here, man. Oh god, more people. Get out of here. This is my point. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I think I'm kind of carrying my team right now, dude. I think I just killed, like, that whole team, basically. Okay, I got that guy. Down 20 enemies in a single match. Have I really done that? Dude, we're farming right now. Yeah, I, I, these might be actual players, to be honest. This, this is significantly better caliber than what I had in my first two games. My first two games, they would genuinely just walk out, stare at you, and you just gun them down. And they, they, they were like no threat whatsoever. These might be actual players, but they're just like very new players. Yeah, they are actually like damaging me. They're, they're probably humans this time, but yeah, still a, a clean 3 0. Uh, didn't really stand any chance there, the enemy team. Easy game. Uh, but yeah, that's Rogue Company. Uh, it's, it's an interesting one. It's another attempt from high res to try and like break into a, a, a new game genre. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gone too well for them. The game at launch did like okay. I think I had like 12, uh, 12k concurrent players on Steam, but it's since like fallen off massively. I think it's lost like 90% of its player base or something. But yeah, the way the game's presented, I, I do like a lot. Um, you know, the, the menus look quite nice. The intro screen where you're all walking through. The music is really good. Um, but, I mean, there's also some bugs, clearly. I don't know what's going on there. Um, they're, like, inside each other. But, yeah. Uh, overall, the presentation is really good. The gameplay is, like, I don't know. Uh, I don't really like how spray it is and how, like, it's not really that tactical. You can just kind of, like, run at people and spray. Um, 
But if that's what they're going for, you know, a more casual variant of this kind of, of game genre uh, that can maybe get a few more people in, then that's that's what they're going for. But yeah, I don't think this game is particularly for me. That game felt a little bit better than my first two games because that seemed to be actually against humans, even if they weren't very good. Uh, my first two games, they, they, they were actually just bots. Like, they would genuinely just walk out of spawn and stare at you and maybe fire a few bullets and miss. Uh, it was terrible. It was like that classic, like, video game and, like, TV thing where, like, the bad guys fire, like, 15 shots and every single one of them misses. Uh, that's pretty much what it was. But, yeah, that's Royal Company. Um, game number three. We're going to be moving on to DKO next. And I think we're going to finish it up with Realm Royale Reforged, the uh, re-release of the original Realm Royale. So, yeah, I will see you guys on the DKO in a second. <laughs> And here we are on DKO. I do actually have an account for this. Uh, I played it a little while back when it originally released and then also for a video fairly recently. So I think we're actually out of bot games on this one. Every high-risk game seems to put you in bot games. So like the first like two or three matches. But yeah, Divine Knockout, if you don't know, it's um, based on the Smite IP and it's like a brawler game. Uh, they call it a physics brawler. It's kind of like something they're trying to call it as like a new term, but it is basically 3D smash uh, is what it is. And you can play as different smite gods. There aren't many available at the moment and to be honest, I don't think this game's that long for this world. It has like 100 active players at this point. It's lost like 99% of its player base since launch and uh, hasn't had an update in like six months. So I imagine honestly, if you're watching this video six months to a year in the future, this game might not even be playable for you anymore, unfortunately. Unless they just keep the servers alive on maintenance mode and never update the game. That's, that's possible as well. Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of different smite gods available. Um, Aontarasu and Susano, I think. Or Aontarasu and Thanatos are like the two way most broken ones. The game's very imbalanced from what I've heard. Uh, I haven't played enough of it to properly comment on the balance, but... Yeah, uh, we have Hercules, Sol, and uh, Amaterasu unlocked at the moment. I think you can also unlock King Arthur by doing the tutorial. And yeah, the usual high-res stuff, you know, there's, there's event passes, there's a, there's a cash shop with a bunch of skins in it. They spend more time developing the skins than the actual game by the looks of it, considering the game hasn't been updated in six months. Um, and even when the game was updated, they were very slow in adding new gods. It took them, like, I think in, like, six months, they added, like, two new gods or something ridiculous. Um, I think we'll go Hercules. <laughs> Hercules is the one I've played the most overall, so we'll, we'll go for one that I actually kind of like know how to play. Um, but yeah, DKO, it is kind of a fun game, to be honest. It is a little bit sad that it died so quick, and I think it was mainly just due to a lack of updates. Like, the game launched now, like, a really uh, quite sizable player base, like, probably about as big as Smite's player base at the time. That's how, like, big this game was on launch. Uh, not as big as Smite's peak player base, but about as big as Smite's, like, current player count. Um, but it just kind of fell off. Uh, there was no real updates. The, the gameplay was just like, didn't really have enough to it. Um, yeah, the game is a lot uh, around interrupts. You probably just saw that, like in that initial fight there, like I just, I didn't get a single attack off pretty much because uh, you just get interrupted out of everything it feels like. Um, but yeah, you can do like edge guards and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's kind of a fun game, to be honest. It is kind of a fun game, but it, it just never gets any updates. Unfortunately. It's also just like a little bit spammy and there's, there's not really like a lot to it, but that's kind of fine. It's just generally like who can mash out the most amount of attacks. Oh, that was nice though. Okay, we got him. We got him. But yeah, you can go off stage and like... Oh, yeah. oh we got him with a boulder. And then we can like chase him down, for example. We can like go up here. He actually knows how to recover. A lot of people in this game have no idea how you actually recover. You, can, you have like a dash and you can also use your attacks mid-air to like... Okay, that guy's gone. Yeah, Hercules basically has Driving Strike from Smite in this game. Also, I'm getting really bad frame rate. I don't know why. This game should not be hard to run, and I have a top of the line PC, so I don't really know how I'm getting bad frame rates, but apologies for that. I want to get this Arthur Dead Mine. Seems like their best player. If I, like, eat that. Yeah, nice. Oh, Super Ammo. Okay. Bye, okay, have so a great time. I like the map selection system. Like, every player picks a map they want to go to, and then, uh... It randomizes, so like if it's been chosen by multiple people, it's way more likely to come out. Yeah, I don't know, man. This game, I feel like it had so much potential. It's like, if the gameplay was just a bit more refined and they updated it more with like more gods and, and different game modes and ways to play, I think it genuinely could have been like a solid game. But uh, they, they just didn't update it. The gameplay felt really janky and they didn't really fix it. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Oh, well, power attack. Oh, it's the driving strike. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, you can use your basic attacks to, like, stall in the air. 
Yeah, the, the gameplay always just felt a little bit clunky to me. I felt like the animations are slow and everything gets interrupted by like the basic attacks. And the game kind of just results to like who can basic attack the most because it interrupts everything. Like if I'm trying to throw a boulder, if I'm trying to drive and strike, all of it gets interrupted by someone just doing this on me. I you didn't see that, but uh, it's just doing like the basic attack chain. So, I don't know. I feel like if the gameplay was refined, it could have been a lot of fun. Oh, the big eat. Drive strike. Oh. Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay, that guy's gone. Oh, nice. We just threw up one there. Eight to four. Nice. Alright, let's get in there. Nice. Collect some free damage off the soul. Oh, we actually got the driving strike. Can I edge guard? No, I can't. That bad. Oh, here we go. Tango down. Oh, okay. She just died. I think she could have recovered that. Yeah, see, this guy kind of knows how to recover. Oh, I edged it too early. Oh, that was a big fucking ball of those. Oh, surely I'll have to die there. Yeah, nice. Oh, I got double. Can we get the triple? Going on this guy. Yeah, Hercules ult, you basically... Nice, you got the triple. Hercules ult, you basically got gigantic and start doing your basic attacks, but they're like way... Way more knockback, way more damage. Oh my god. Oh, that was a snipe with the boulder. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go red. Oh wow. Okay, I don't know how I got killed there. I think it was just my big, big, big smacks from my own. GG though, three zero. Um, I don't actually think I was against bots that time. I think I'm actually out of bot games. Um, I felt like they were actual humans. They, they weren't very good, but they didn't feel like actual humans. Um, but yeah, GG's, GG's. Uh, DKO, as I said, I think it had a lot of potential, but it kind of got abandoned, uh, and it just needed some refining, man. It just needed some refining, and I think it could have been mightily successful. I don't think it would have ever been like a Smite or a Paladins in terms of like consistent player count, but I think it had potential to be a little side game. Honestly, if they just released this as a side mode in Smite, uh, that you could play like while you're waiting for cues or something. I'd have to play that. Play that. Uh, if they were gonna like discontinue this game, just like add it as a side mode to smite, I'd be down. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much DKO. There's not too much else to the game really. There's like progression systems and different game modes, but uh, that's pretty much what DKO is. You, you spawn into an arena. There might be like hazards. There might be capture points or whatever, and you just gotta like knock people off. It's smash but smite basically. Uh, but yeah, that's DKO. Let's move on to our final high res game for the video, which is gonna be Realm Royale Reforged. Uh, so I will see you guys in a second. And here we are on a Realm Royale Reforge. And can I just say, high res have one loading screen. It feels like every single game I've played in this video, they've all had the, basically the same loading screen template or like lobby screen. Like this looks very much like Smite. It also looks very much like the Rogue Company one. And it looks pretty much exactly like the DKO one where they just have like menu on the side, logo, uh, promotions, and then a, a character, like a new skin or something. They're all exactly the same like UI, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, Realm Royale Reforged, uh, the basic history of this game is that they released a battle royale called realm Roy realm royale it did insanely well i think it was like in terms of peak players their most successful game ever i think it peaked at like a ridiculous amount of players compared to other high-res games um but then they just slowly kind of ruined it they made bad change after bad change uh, i think they removed the forge system where like you could forge like your legendary weapon for your class which had like unique effect at like one of the forges and I think they removed that system and made it so you could only get it from chests. And like that whole like forge system was like half the reason the game was cool over other battle royales. And so yeah, they just kind of ruined it. Uh, maybe now that they've relaunched it, I've not played the relaunch, but it's called Reforged. So maybe you can forge again. Maybe they've like kind of reverted it back to what it was at launch to try and get uh, some of the player base back. Uh, those that know me uh, will know that I'm not a big battle royale player. Uh, generally, I'm not a huge fan of battle royales, but of the ones I've played, Realm Royale was genuinely the most fun. Like, it's a little bit more fantasy-esque. There's, like, magical weapons and stuff. 
Uh, the classes were really cool with legendary weapons that you could forge. It, it was definitely the most fun battle royale that I've played. Um, but in general, I'm not a big fan of this genre. Uh, but yeah, let's get into a game. Uh, I do have an account on this uh, that I used like ages ago. And I assume with the relaunch, you can use the same account. So I think we're just going to hop right in. Uh, we found a match immediately, which is good. Uh, I haven't actually checked the Steam charts for this game. I don't know if it's doing well on the relaunch or if it's uh, like dead. Oh, okay, we have to do the tutorial. That's fine. Do I really need a tutorial for a Battle Royale game? They're like the simplest games in existence. Yes, chests. I can get guns and stuff. I understand Battle Royales. Ah, oh, yeah, you have abilities as well, so we can, like, leap an incredible height if we press F. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have mounts as well, yeah. It's kind of like Paladins. I, I mean, this was originally a game mode for Paladins, so it makes sense. Uh, for those who don't know, this game mode, this game was originally developed as a, a side mode for Paladins until they launched it as its... Uh, its own full game. Similar to Fortnite, I guess. You know, Fortnite was originally a uh, side game mode for the original Fortnite Save the World game. And yeah, it normally takes quite a while to craft these items, so you'd normally be sitting here for like, I don't know, about a minute or something. And you can sometimes get run up on. Um, but yeah, now I have like a, a legendary weapon. Oh yeah, and you can still like class as well. Uh, we'll go with mage. I, I played a lot of mage because uh, their legendary weapon that you could get when the game originally launched, it was like a fireball staff. It was really good. You know, let's go over to this purple uh, mushroom forest thing. This looks cool. <laughs> Immediate chest. Uh, grapple hook. Okay, someone's on the horse near me. I, I, might, I may have to get into combat here. Yeah, you, you. I'm gonna kill you before you can get that chest, my guy. Oh god, there's multiple people. Okay, I have got a kill, but I'm also getting shot at by other people, which is kind of like battle royales in a nutshell, right? Oh, I can fly. Fuck. Okay, you know what? We're just going to run away for now because um, there's a lot of people over there that kind of scare me. Breastplate? Sure. A flask of healing. Okay, that's what we need. Let's do that. It seems like there also is passive health regeneration, but it's very, very slight. Oh, ice staff. Okay, let's do that. There'll be no match for my ice staff, dude. But yeah, the, the legendary mage weapon on launch was, was like a fireball version of this, and it was like so good. Uh, A long sword. I don't care about that. Light foot potion we already have. Oh, we also have another healing potion. Oh, it's on a cooldown. Okay. It's not like a one-use thing. It's actually on a cooldown. Uh, oh, fire staff. Let's do that instead then. Sell that. Sell that. Freeze yourself and have immunity. I don't think that's that useful. Uh, we'll grab this chest. Though. Maybe what we could do is head back into here and see if anyone's anyone survived that initial fighting. Maybe we could clean some people up. Someone just got on their horse. Okay, definitely fighting going on over here. Let's see if we can get in. Oh, hello. Okay, they're fighting at the moment. So I can, like, aim and kill people. So I can, oh, like, God. aim and kill people. Okay, I'm bad. I'm really bad. Well, we can run away, maybe. There's some guy on a horse. Yeah, this is also, like, an interesting mechanic that didn't really exist in uh, Battle Royales. If you're solo, uh, you just become a chicken and you can you can revive. Like, I'm, I'm back alive right now. Uh, let's just shard all of that stuff. Maybe I should just roll. Maybe I should, like... Actually, there's a forge over here. Let's actually just turn oh, hell no! Oh, never mind. Oh god, we fly. Can we go in here? Oh, we can. It's probably very risky to try and forge here, but like... What if I can make... Oh, forge random weapon is at 100 shards. I'm four shards off, are you kidding me? Is there anything I can... Oh, disenchant down here. Okay, there we go. Right, we have enough now to forge the weapon. Okay, it takes like 25 seconds, so... As long as no one notices I'm here, which is probably not the best idea to start like firing fireballs out the window, but... We may as well try and do dorm some people, because there's a lot of people around here right now. Okay, he, he got wrecked by some guy. That guy. I'm fine to just chill and wait for my weapon, though. I feel like this thing's going to be, like, really strong. Yeah, so that's the epic fire staff. So now this, this should do, like, significantly more damage. Oh, he's looting. He's looting. Get out of there, lad. Nice. We had the epic tick damage on him from the fireballs. Finish that guy off. Just shard everything he has. This is good. I think we were the victor of this fight, dude. I don't I don't hear anyone else around right now. Uh, oh, it's like armor potions and stuff. Okay, we probably want those. I also have like infinite shards now, so maybe I should go back to the forge. I'll probably head back to the forge and like craft some other stuff because you can craft like abilities and stuff as well here, I think. Okay, you can do health potions and armor potions as well. So let's craft some armor potions because I'm a little bit low on armor right now. Wait, did that just use them or what? I don't know if that just used them. Oh, someone's on their horse outside. Oh, they're fighting. 
Oh, were they trying to shoot at me? Okay, got some damage on him there. I'm fine to just chill here and like craft up some stuff if that guy don't want to push. Okay, health potions. Oh, I use them with G and H. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, we've actually got like infinite potions. We don't need more. Nice. Oh, dude, I'm wrecking him. There it is. Nice. Okay, we got that going. Uh, let's wait for this to finish forging. We'll go over and loot him. Dude, this fire staff's so nice. This brings me back to the days of like when this game first launched, man. And you just like build the OP fire staff on merge. Okay, we have fireball. Let's equip that in place of the blizzard. There's also a guy out there. Can fireball? Oh, dude, fireball can go like ranged. Okay, he's surely nearly dead, right? You do have to lead your shots a little bit with this. Okay, he's dead. Let's do our fly and get over there. Hello, good sir. You are dead. Okay, let's just let's just shard like everything. Uh, maybe take potions. Okay, there was another guy over here that we could loot. I have like infinite potions as well. I have like 15 armor potions and 12 health potions. Uh, let's just... Oh, shards are at maximum. Okay, I can't shard anything else. That's a bit. Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, I didn't realize this. No. Oh, how do I mount up? Maybe I can just get through this with armor potions, but I, I don't know how I mount up. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, we got to run. We got to make sure we stay in the circle. I thought that was... I thought I was in the circle. Okay, we're fine. The horse is faster than the circle at the moment. Okay, that was, uh, that was a little bit scary. But we've also crafted like a billion things. I feel like we're quite strong right now. There's only 16 people left as well. Dude, imagine we get W on like this first random game that we played in this game in like many years. We have the fireball, the reusable health potion, and the movement. I think that's like, that's pretty good at the moment. Let's see if we can find any people at murder. Because this fire staff seems really strong. There's a guy down there. What's he doing? <laughs> He's like having a heart attack, man. What? Should I take a shot at him? Okay, I don't know what he's doing. He's just like... Yeah, I got out of here, lad. So get I can, like, here. aim and kill people. Nah, listen. Surely I can't be missing a fucking chicken. There we go. That's a better breastplate than what I have, though. Take the potions. Oh, legendary greaves. Increased movement speed. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. We've got, like, some legendary boots now as well. We've also got a legendary fireball that I need to remember to use. Okay, six people left, dude. This, this could potentially be a W, honestly. Is that my PvP event? This guy trying to spray at me. Oh, God. Let's refresh the armor that. I want to hit him with the fireball. Okay, nice. I think I got him with the fireball. Nice, dude. Okay, I need to finish him off, though. I don't want to be healing up before I finish him off. Dude, I think I'm just, like, permanently at max potions. Gotta keep picking up everyone else's. Okay, we are going to need to run, though. I'm not going to be able to loot that guy. Good chance we can do this, I reckon. Especially if those two start fighting and I can clean up uh, the remainder. Okay, so yeah, it's, they're probably somewhere around this, like, town area, I imagine. Oh, what's going on over there? Are they fighting? Yeah, so maybe if you just, like, fly up here. Yeah, this mage fly is, like, seems very useful. Yeah, this game's fun, though, dude. I I, I think it's definitely the, the best battle royale out there. As much as it's sad that it now has, like, no players, like, this is fun. If I was gonna play a battle royale, this would be the one i play. This guy's got skins and everything, though. And barriers, what the hell? What if I fireball this barrier? Fly over here. Oh my god, he's firing stuff at me. Dude, how does he know where I am? Okay, we're gonna try and flank around the side. Actually, maybe we can't. The, the zone's coming in. There he is. So I can like rain. I can't repeat. Fuck. I missed my shot. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh. Uh... Nah, yeah, I couldn't do anything there. Oh, that's unfortunate. I got, like, stuck between him and the uh, the zone. He's not killing me. I don't know if he's just, like, looking for where the other guy is. But... Can I get a revive here? Can I just, like, jump around? I can. Okay, flying into him probably wasn't the best idea. I, I was trying to fireball that, not fly into it. <laughs> okay, well... That wasn't too bad. We got third place in our first ever game of this in like a long time. And I don't play Battle Royales like at all. This is like the only Battle Royale I've played like a little bit of. Um, 
I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this final fight between these epic two. This guy seems kind of OP. He's got skins, he's got like legendaries in basically every slot. Yeah, he just had way better gear than me, man. He probably crafted a lot of that out of the forge, which I, I should have done, but I had to run away from that forge that I was at. He's got like an axe. It must be like the warrior legendary weapon. I think they're both warriors. Okay, yeah, that's GG. Well played to Mr. Shark, man. He's got a mini gun and a throwing axe. Mad respect. Okay, we got third. I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, that's that's Realm Royale reforged. Um, they're trying to relaunch the game uh, in like similar to its original state before they kind of ruined it with a lot of patches. The game's fun. I, I would recommend giving it a try if you like Battle Royales. It has like no player base. It has like 600 people on at the moment, uh, peak uh, per day. So it's really not a whole lot of players, but um, it used to be really popular. Launched with like 100,000 players, but then they kind of killed the game. But yeah, that was our final high-res game to play for the video. We've played Realm Royale, Smite, Paladins, uh, DKO, and Rogue Company all in one video. Uh, that are other high-res games that exist, but either the servers are shut down or you can't access them or whatever anymore, like Tribes Ascend and Global Agenda and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, maybe it's inspired you to check out some other high-res games. You know, if it, it, most likely your, your main game is Smite if you're watching this video, but maybe if any Paladins or, or Rogue Company players or whatever are, are now watching this video, uh, hopefully you can try out some of the other high-res games. And yeah, overall, not too bad of an experience. I didn't really enjoy Rogue Company that much. Um... DKO, kind of fun for a little bit. This game, kind of fun for a little bit. Uh, Paladins, I also didn't really enjoy that much. And then Smite, obviously. Smite is Smite. I enjoyed that very much. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds.